Needle nose pliers. Needle nose pliers. Jumper wire. Jumper wire. Capacitor. Um, which one is the capacitor again? Oh, it's the blue round thing on the left. Aha! One capacitor for you. Thanks, Adabot. Lady Ada, what does a capacitor do? Capacitor stores electrical energy. But isn't that what a battery does? Well, yes, both a battery and a capacitor store electrical energy. But other than that, they're quite different. Oh, but what makes them different? Well, a battery generates electrical energy using chemistry, whereas a capacitor has to be charged from an external source before it can supply electrical energy. So, a battery makes electricity, but a capacitor stores it. That's right. Can a capacitor be filled with electricity from a battery? Absolutely. Cool, but why would you want to do that? That's a good question. You might want to ask a capacitor. Good idea. I'll go ask Cappy. Hello, Cappy. How are you doing? Oh, hello there, Adabot. I'm doing quite fine. Yourself? All systems are fully operational, but I have a question. What do you do in this circuit? Oh, good question. In this circuit, I'm filtering power. Oh, how do you do that? Ah, well you see, this circuit is a power supply. We take electrical power in on one side, fix it up, smooth it out, and we send it out the other side. And I'm the part who does the smoothing. When too much electricity is coming in, I store the extra. And when too little electricity is coming in, I empty out my stored electricity to fill in the gaps. Wow. I guess you're a pretty powerful guy around here. Uh, uh, you might say that, kiddo, you might. But capacitors do more than just filter power. Really? What else do they do? Ah, let's see. Capacitors store lots of power to help keep photos brightly lit. A camera flash? Precisely. When the power goes out, capacitors can help a computer run for a bit. Backup power? Right again. A capacitor can let low notes play while filtering out the higher ranges. That's an audio filter. Correct. Capacitors can block electron flow while passing along electrical changes. Uh, I don't know that one. Oh, uh, that is kind of a tough one. It's called AC coupling. But don't worry about it. Okay. There's just one more thing you should know. Some capacitors can dance. What? Well, I might be the only capacitor who dances. Still, capacitors do a lot of important work inside of circuits by storing and releasing electrical energy. Agreed. But where do you store all that energy? Some kind of backpack or big pocket? <laughs> No, I store electrical energy right here in my body. Whoa! Inside every capacitor, there are two electrically conductive plates, separated by a layer of material that doesn't conduct electricity. Electrical energy is stored in a capacitor when many electrons gather on one plate all trying to reach the other plate, which has more empty spaces for the electrons to fill. Oh, just like in a battery, the electrons crowd up on one side, hoping they can fill the empty spaces. Indeed. And a capacitor releases electrical energy when those electrons find an easier way to get to those open spaces by going outside of the capacitor's body. make a lot more sense now. You're very welcome, Adabot. Glad I could help. Oh, that reminds me. 
We should get back to work at that power supply circuit. Right. See you later, Kathy. Oh, hey, welcome back, Itabot. So, did Kathy tell you all about capacitors? He did. He's a pretty amazing guy. Capacitors can be used in all sorts of different ways. That's right. They also come in many different sizes and colors, like these. Wow, those are all capacitors? That's right. Different types of capacitors for different types of jobs. From teeny disks to ceramics, film, and electrolytic capacitors. We even have huge super caps. Let's try an experiment with this capacitor. This fellow has 10,000 microfarads of capacitance and can be used up to 6.3 volts. I'm going to measure the voltage on this empty capacitor with my multimeter. Right now we're at zero volts. Now I'm going to charge my capacitor with these two AA batteries. All I have to do is touch the leads to the capacitor to charge it up to 2.5 volts. Now we can use the stored energy inside this capacitor to light up an LED. Lady Ada, there's still one thing I'd like to know. What's that, Adabot? Well, why don't your capacitors dance? What? You know, do da do da do 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 do